They say titles aren't won in the summer, and that's true, but they can pave the way for the league's ultimate prize. Just think about how the summer of 2014 changed everything in the NBA and in Cleveland. They won the summer, and two years later, the championship. So here are this year's winners and losers. 73 wins, two minutes away from repeating as NBA champs, and yet the Warriors landed the biggest offseason prize, Kevin Durant. How do you counter that? Now, there may only be one ball, but it's going to go through the hoop. A lot. And their magical summer didn't even end there. They nabbed the best bargain in free agency, getting Zaza Pachulia, then David West was added at a cheap price, giving the Warriors the most feared eight-man rotation in the league. The Boston Celtics have been hoarding draft picks and keeping cap space so they could reel in a star. They missed on Durant, but Al Horford is a heck of a plan B. Not only does he elevate Boston into the number two seed conversation, but getting Horford weakens the Atlanta Hawks, one of Boston's biggest competitors in the conference. I also liked what the Pacers did. Same with Utah. On the other side, the obvious loser is Oklahoma City. The Thunder went from hoping to re-sign Durant to thinking about the possibility of maybe trading free agent to be Russell Westbrook before he bolts. That's a tough summer. The Lakers lost again. They couldn't even get a meeting with Durant, or Hassan Whiteside for that matter. Then instead of holding out for Bismack Biombo, Festus Azili, or another big man, the Lake Show locked up Timofey Mozgov for $64 million. Wilt, Shaq, Kareem, Pau, Timo. Eh, it doesn't quite fit. The Bulls said they wanted to get younger and more athletic to play Fred Hoiberg's three-point happy pace and space offense, so what did they do? They added 34-year-old Dwayne Wade and 30-year-old problem child Rajon Rondo. The Bulls now have a backcourt that made 69 combined threes. That's a good week for the Warriors. Then there's Orlando. Yeah, I don't get it either. Good luck, Frank Vogel. And finally, the Knicks. New York is still partying like it's 2012 thanks to the dawn of its turn-back-the-clock trio. Derrick Rose, Carmelo Anthony, Joe Kim Noah. Will that finally end a three-year playoff drought?